Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. Uh, in today's video is going to be kind of just me going around the market doing a little trading, but I want to talk to you guys about the current state of the market. So if you do enjoy today's video, smash that like and subscribe uh, if you guys are new here. A lot of people asking me to just kind of talk about the current state of the market. What do I think about it? Um, and yeah, so icons, man of the matches, all that stuff, informs, right? Informs this weekend, I think, are going to be the buy because you have the SBC that's a tradable SBC. It's only two days long and then lightning rounds of this weekend. So for me, the team of the week gets the cheapest this weekend at some point. And then the supply starts, stops to be put into packs. Nobody opens packs next week. And then there's no more SBCs. It should shoot up uh, upon that. That should be a, me a reaction of the market with the team of the week. Now, regarding icons, all that, right? Icons are weird. Um, some icons are not down. Like I'm still seeing Hullet at 3.3, which is down, but it's not down at the lowest. And then other icons like a Primal Kocha, who I'm bidding on right now, is freaking low as hell and he was selling at a mill last weekend so with icons it's it's different guys because there's not one universal buy date on icons like icons drop differently to the amounts they are packed um it's a whole cycle and trend with icons so you're gonna just see me today looking on the market at some icons doing a little bit of trading and just giving you guys advice um, the cool thing is about, uh, you know, Man of the Match Lamella, that card that I recommended to a lot of you guys to pick up Lamellas before he went out of packs, is already up from 20,000 coins last night to 30,000 coins today. And if you're following my uh, trading to 250, which now we're trading to, I believe we're trading to like 500 now. We just hit 250. Um, we picked up some last night and we flipped them. Um, for 10k profit a car, we flipped five. So you guys, first of all, need to be following that series. We sold 2083s that we bought for 1.7 for 3k yesterday, and then today we got on and we sold the Lamellas for 40,000 coins. So low budget investors, whoever you are, that's a great series to be following, uh, and it can surely make you a lot of coins. So you're seeing me here, man. I'm just pitting, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up some cards that I just think are too cheap, right? And like, I, you know, a fresh Okocha for 740 for me. There's certain cards that I've set targets on that I'm saying, okay, I'm buying at that price. Like. Like, that's what it is um, pick up on the panic first of all if you see panic during the day pick up on it right a lot of these cards will go higher at night there's less listings there's less panic there's less lightning rounds all that kind of stuff as that asshole just freaking bids out on me in the last second um, but yeah I'll throw one more bid in for JJ and basically dudes just be checking the market right we just I just went on my other account I did some trading on there uh, for you guys in that series and Basically, we ended up, you know, sniping a Vertonghen for 60k. Like, the best thing you guys can be doing uh, during lightning rounds is just sniping cards. There's nothing there's nothing else that is than sniping cards, sniping team of the week cards. You can get on the 59th minute and check out icons. There's a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, you guys see me here. I'm on the 59th minute. I'm checking these icons out, man, because the thing is, boys, um, a lot of these cards just get listed too low. They're packed, and people just list them too low. So, yeah, that expired, but... I made a huge purchase today, and this is a purchase that I'll show you guys. I, you know, I have balls like I'll show you guys what I'm buying, man. And I bought Prime Dino, man, and I'm I bought it for three to point two oh one. And what I want to show you guys real quick is um is how crazy that is for me. Like I'm not even flipping them. I'm just gonna use them for my team and wait till the market rebounds and sell them for you know I don't know. He was selling at like I saw him sell at three point six, three point seven, three point eight before this crash. Um, and now he's down a ton, but you could see like looking at his graph. I mean, that's the most insane buy ever And you guys know how I got this Dino. I got him on an open bid um, Open bid is where I got this Dino card, um, which is insane um, And I've been using him and he's an absolute beast did prime Larson the other day I, yesterday I just want to tell you guys if you want to do a prime icon right now Just get a prime icon in your club going or something like that uh, Start doing them because they're cheap right now with lightning rounds a lot of opportunity to do them um, But I'll just tell you man. There's simple things with the icon market right now where it's just it's so flippable. Like I just picked up a Schmeichel like an hour ago for 440 and I sold him for 498. Uh, there's just things like that. I will be always throughout the next like 48 hours just going on the market, checking out prices. If you see something's too low, then get take a look and flip it, especially with the icons, right? The team of the week is different because the team of the week is in a constant state of supply. Team of the week is going to get packed a lot, and the golds are going down. Now, the golds shot up yesterday after the first few lightning rounds. It makes sense. They got really low. I think tomorrow the golds may be another. There might be another time to buy um, with the gold cards for sure. I think that's a possibility tomorrow. You've got to keep your eyes on it. Um, and then looking at some players like, like Neymar and things like that, like once the watches are super, super low right now, um, I don't know the full reasoning behind it, but they're super low. Um, and a lot of these informs and things like that are just crashing. If you see informs crashing, you kind of need to understand that there's no point for the inform to crash. Yes, the market's losing coins, but at the same time, the, the, the inform's not in, they're not in packs, right? So 
you should be picking up on those periods of panic now another recommendation i have for a lot of you guys who are doing this trading things like that if you're in uh, a profit zone if you have money that you're making don't wait just take the money if you see a car that you bought an hour ago for a price and now it's selling for x price that's a lot higher than what you bought it for just sell it man like take the money that's all i can recommend to you guys there's no point uh when you see coins take your coins man take your coins and run that's what i would do um it's silly it's silly not to be taking your coins uh in situations where you can be making so much and even a card like maradona man like this i saw this maradona at 2.1 this morning unbought i didn't buy it but i'm being patient right i'm being patient there's a mix you need to have of greed and then patience um and then guys once the watches like especially once the watches that maybe didn't have games that were team of the work week worthy today i would say take a look at maybe today or tomorrow i'm sure this alexis card is getting absolutely killed he did have an assist today um but yeah i mean he's down in the 500 range which is absolutely insane and another card that i'm looking at um in the once to watch department is the is the obamyang because the obamyang um i don't think obamyang played this week regardless he's extremely low um he's going into the 700 range 700 range with 694 like a start like that and that's just insane uh in terms of in terms of a card being low like that's just insane for uh you know why it's insane it's insane because of the potential that obamian has if obamian gets an inform it's going to go to 90 rated and it's going to be the most op striker in the prime which means it's going to be over a million coins it's going to be 1.2 it's going to be 1.3 so if you're a guy with a lot of coins i would say throw maybe a little bit of money you know into a once the watch card because that 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 those are the cards that can actually give you a very high return um for your money when you buy those kind of cards i mean i really do think so 740 for an okocha man we're gonna have to buy that you guys are gonna see me in a second make some buys and like i you know i'm recording you guys see it all man i don't care you guys can see it all so look this okocha man i sold it last night for 800 coins boys 800 coins is what i sold this okocha for last night i'm gonna buy it man i'm gonna buy it you know I, it's fresh there's an added value of it being fresh um somebody obviously just packed it and they wanted to sell it and and i know i bought this card for 760 last night and i sold it for uh, over 800 so i'm happy with that purchase just things like that when you when you're sitting on the 59th minute when you're doing trading when you see a deal that you know you can flip immediately in the short term i would take it i think there's no reason for you guys not to take it um and there's a lot of coins to be made right now what is interesting is i'm seeing is team of the year seems slightly up uh which tells me that people are getting coins and people are playing weekend league um so that means that i think you know we were always talking about you know can can these packs be opened with uh fifa points and you still get the deal and last year you couldn't but this year it looks like you can and, and it looks like people are opening a lot of packs with fifa points because it's a two for one it's such a good deal i don't think a lot of people are opening packs with coins let me know down in the comments down below if you did open packs with coins i really hope you didn't because i'm gonna be very 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 mad at you um but let me know in the comments down below like did you open packs with coins how did you open packs uh if you did um and yeah it's Dudes, it, it's a crazy market, so you need to be careful. If you're not an experienced trader, if you don't know how cards, um, you know, you know, kind of go through the day and the night, then don't make any crazy buys. Don't do that to yourself. Um, that's not what you should be doing. But if you are an experienced trader and you guys know how cards work, if you see a card down at a moment, it is likely um, that it will surge back up. I, I mean, you know, if you see Valencia at 500k, you know where that card sells. Have the confidence, boys. I, I know you guys all know how to do all this implement it do it because you know you're good at it i was picking up roof years last night because he was just too damn cheap we also have upgrades coming up this friday if you see a card uh that's supposed to get a winter upgrade um that was high as heck for the last few weeks and is now extremely low get on top of it go buy it i bought de bruyne's last night for 550 because i knew it was too low 519 for kevin de bruyne guys i'll buy them all i don't care i'll literally buy them all um for me it's it's, it's too cheap and i know this market inside out um and there's going to be opportunities to be flipping all week so yeah i mean another buy that we just made on this video I, this is guys this is unedited this is 10 minutes of me just talking about the current state of the market um and yeah so i think once the watches are really good looks right now i would see if you guys could be greedy and see if the market goes a little bit lower tomorrow you guys can see here this okocha just sold um for 750,000, which means i'm already in the money mine's fresh this one was just listed for 24 hours um and we're just uh, another big tip add a lot of things to your watch list see where cards are selling it's good to get the experience to know where the cards are actually selling at um rather than just seeing a card in the market and not actually looking if he sold 
for the full hour. You guys can see here, my watch list is loaded right now. I'm looking at a ton of cards um, right now that are selling for certain prices. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, smash a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know if you guys want more of these, man. Just checking the market, doing some trading, um, and just talking about what I'm expecting ahead. Thank you boys for watching. I will see you guys in a video soon. Peace.